Welcome back to this video and in this particular part of interactive video suit tutorial we are going to dive over how you can go ahead and add your videos and then uh, we are going to move towards interaction layer and elements okay to start with I have certain videos which I would like to add so uh, let's just go I guess this is pretty use review that's the project we are editing right now and if you see I have one two three and four videos right now which we have already recorded and uploaded to YouTube you can even uh, go ahead and upload the file directly to this particular part if you want all right so uh, either of the choice if you don't want the YouTube logo to be displayed then it's recommended that you upload it here but uh, just for the sake of this particular tutorial I have all the tutorials already uploaded right here to YouTube so I would go ahead and say this is the intro part let's go ahead and let's copy and let's say add the video now this is the video has been added and this is the start video and also the fallback video for now uh, which means that if uh, you know there is nothing played then this would be played actually so this is a fallback video okay so this is one basic uh, thing start video or fallback video you could actually go ahead and do that all right so that's number one so i'll add more videos first and then we will go ahead and talk about the other parts so i'll go ahead and add the product and the product is right here so let's say this is a review video which we're doing for one of the products then we go ahead and we can add another video we talk about business opportunity here and here we go So this is like very easy how to add a video. Okay, I hope you have understood this. And in case you're adding an MP4 video, it's best to compress the video uh, because it will work really nice and it will load faster if you use this option. So it's advisable, all right? So other than that, I am using MP4. So I am quite like, okay, right now. And let's go ahead and say, this is the bonus. And we go here and we say, add the video. Now we have all four videos right now exactly lined up okay and what we're going to do is now once you've added the videos you can see it's uh, the next part would be to go ahead and edit the first video let's say this is the start video and we go ahead and edit this video all right so this is number one now we go what we have to do is once you are on the video you can uh, go ahead and you know create a new interaction layer okay so right uh, at 16 seconds or 15, you could say 14 seconds i would be displaying my first interaction layer and we should show them three options what exactly they are looking for all right so that's how it is actually going to be uh, set up so we're going to go ahead and say uh, we say let's say edit interaction layer first you have to say add an interaction layer let's say this is the intro interaction layer very simple you go ahead and you create a layer now layer is nothing but it's it's kind of uh, you know a way to display things on top of a video that's what really a layer is just like in Photoshop we have different layers similarly we have layers over right here now what you could do is you could customize the color uh, you could customize the way it, you want it to look okay so it's up to you you can make it a little darkish and it's, a, it's just up to you to decide what do you want to really do so i'll go ahead and have it and now what i'm going to do is i can set the time of an interaction layer or when do you want this interaction layer to put you can even have a file if you want okay so that's also something which you can always do so you could go ahead and i'm going to take this all the way here to 15 seconds and i'm going to say set the interaction layer time right here okay so now my uh, interaction layer is set at 15 seconds so that's how my interaction layer is set up okay now uh, once you have done that interaction layer part the very next part would be to go ahead and have elements all right elements now what are elements is elements uh, are all about you know you could add a button you could add a text you could add a clickable image you could add a static image and you or you could add a hotspot so there are a lot of things which you can do uh, here and 
uh, what we are going to do ahead and do is first of all we're going to add a clickable image all right and this is going to be we're going to say edit and we're going to say that this clickable image is let's say i am going to say talk about product here that's the number one then what you could do is you could upload a file or you could enter a url from which you can do that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to upload a file here i have certain graphics with me and i'm going to go ahead and have a product graphic uploading right here so once it is completed it would come right here you could see that i can go ahead and set up the you know uh the width and the height of the product i mean the graphic you can do that so let's say this is the product uh, that's the number one thing which i want to show to people right so i mean this is the first part of the layer the product so i can go ahead and i can have it right here the product so once you have set this up now you have to say when when, when this particular thing is clicked okay what really happens do you want uh, it to play another video okay or do you want to open up a web page so you will have to decide that in my case i want if the particular image is clicked then one has to go ahead and play the product video that's what really i, I really want right now okay so once i have done this particular part i could go to back to elements i could create a new element again i am going to say let's say clickable image uh, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to say it's a business opportunity all right again we're going to upload a file uh, we're going to just cancel this and we're going to say upload a file let's go ahead and choose the thing which we have for business opportunity all right so we have to go ahead and basically business opportunity or uh, i also have bonus so i have quite a lot of up graphics and let's just go ahead and talk about the business opportunity anyways so uh, right now i guess i don't have the graphic so i'm going to just say bonus and i am going to say this is the bonus graphic and let's just upload this i hope you're getting the point what you have to do is uh, we're trying to create now multiple layers of this particular part so that people can go ahead and choose one out of the things and it's like you know what they really want to listen and it's not like uh, what you i really want to show them it's it's about what they really want to choose okay and then uh, we're going to go ahead and say this is going to play the bonus part of the video all right so that's that's how it works and once you are done uh, you are done with this product you're done with bonus and then you could add another one uh, back so let's go ahead and add the elements again so i'm going to say new element and i'm going to say text and i'm going to say here uh, this is like text choose one of them choose one of them to proceed okay so this is a simple one i'm going to say choose one i am going to only say this you could go ahead and you could do the padding uh, you could go ahead and do the color uh, a lot of things which you can do you could do custom color uh, okay so that's one so we could go ahead and say choose one okay so uh, once we have this the product or uh, the bonus or uh, the business opportunity people could click on one of them and people could actually go ahead and choose one and move forward so this is how you can go ahead and create interaction layers okay i mean the interaction layer that is one part of it we have created just one interaction layer so far which is the intro part and we have gone ahead and done the elements part as well okay so what i'm going to do is i am going to catch you now in the next video and i'm going to explain more about uh, that next how you can go ahead and edit the next video and uh, then further you could create interaction layers for each one of them so that it leads them to exactly the point where you want to drive them I, and this is going to really really help you to build up everything like you know it, it's it's an amazing product and this is going to increase your conversions by at least a bare minimum of 2x so that's what we have experienced in the past for our particular part and i'll catch you in the next video see you